All right, uh, good morning, everybody. Wanted to start off with uh, Avrami. Happy birthday. Happy 36. Oh, that's very interesting to know that I think we started Shabbos like the week before, around the week, uh, right before, right around COVID. So you seem to have done. So you seem to have done all of uh, Seder Moed, you know, since COVID, and basically, you know, sort of the beginning and basically the end. What? Well, I'd say brachos is part of there. So it's a brachos is two months, and then you know, so really around the beginning of March. So we'll finish. So, anyways, today is Daf uh, Chav the last uh, the last blot of Chagiga, uh, which is the last Masechta in Seder Moed. Right after this, so uh, Nashim. So we left off. We we're discussing at the end of the uh, the the, uh, the Mishnah talks about uh, the Tuma of the uh, of the Mikdash during the Zman uh, of the Regalim and what they did to alleviate the Tuma. So we so we said over there by the Shochan. So we said over there, careful not to touch it because they can't go ahead and be go ahead. And, it can't be Tevelit. So the Gemara wants to know. Why? So we, we left off. We left off around that, I don't know, uh, 13 lines from the top or so. Middle, smack in the middle of the page. The typically, the Why are you saying that the Shulchan is Matame and be careful, Kohan, not to touch it? Yeah, 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 yeah. We could say that what? That it's something which is wooden, which is made, Lenachas, which is made to rest, which is made to be uh, uh, stationary. And any wooden vessel which is made uh, to uh, for, for to be stationary is not a My time, but what's the reason? So do me the sack. It's uh, we learned out similar to a sackcloth. Just like a sackcloth, right? Which is moved around, whether it's uh, you know full or empty. So to uh, so, uh, so to anything which comes tame has to be able to be moved around. So we see over here that the shulchan is not meant to be moved around, and since it's not meant to be moved around, it should not be matame. So the question is, why do uh, why are you saying that? Um, why, why why are you saying that it becomes tummy? So the Gemara says, no, how many matato malibereka? No, it also gets moved. Because reish lakish tummy, reish lakish. My text is supposed to mean ala shulchan hator. It says ala shulchan hator michlal shu tummy. What it means tummy? The ma kliyeta azul nachasu. Right, it's, it's something which is a wooden, which is a wooden table, a wooden shulchan, which is stationary. Rather, so why is it become tame? Right, why is there a shulchan at tower because it has potentially become tame? Rather, what do you see over here? That they used to go ahead and pick it up, and they would carry it out, and they would show the the those those people were only rego. The people will come, uh, you know, every year for the uh, for the for three of the gum. Lechlam part the shulchan and the the breads. That were on there for the entire week. Right, Siluko Kesiduro. Come see that you're, you're how, how dear and precious you are before Kadosh Baruch Hu, Right, you see the freshness as when you remove them. These have been on here for a week, but they're still fresh, warm right? and fresh. Right, since they were put on a week earlier. So therefore, we see that the Shulchan was not considered to be a stationary vessel; it was a movable one. Right, there was a nase, there was a great nase that was done with the upon him. They had its place in there, was just like its removal, or its removal was just like its place in there. Because there's over there that the place over there, the bread and the, and the warm bread, and the day they took it. So you see, the bread was still warm even when they removed it a week later. The Gemara asked, but I, the tape of why don't you say, wait, time out? Even though, okay, you wanted to say the reason why it's tame is because it's movable. I have something better, right? It was wooden and it was gold plated. Say, since it's gold plated, the table is If you have a table or a, let's say, a large chair and it was Covered with with a marble or some other material, the shire behem makom anachas kaisos, and on the table there's some part that's not marble plated, right? There's enough place to put your cups. Tummy, it's still tummy. It doesn't take on the marble material, 
because there's still some opening on the table itself or on the chair itself. In other words, normally it takes on the material that is covered with. It would have been marble. Marble is not the, you know, it's a stone, right? It's not metame, right? But since there's a space, the, the, a large enough space to place a cup, it's tame. No, has to be larger than a cup. It needs to be, you know, large enough to, to, to place, let's say, your, your dish on, right? Your food on. But nevertheless, what do you see over here? The only reason those over there were still tame is because it was open up, it was a large enough space, but if it's completely plated or completely covered in marble, it would be taller. It would be considered to be like a, a marble table, which is not tummy. So mm -hmm. to over here, this is a table, which is gold plated. Gold is a, a metal, right? That would be the tummy. So why say that? So the chitim, maybe you say that it goes, ah, the atzi shitim. Was that go for wood? Is that what atzi shitim? Acacia, right? Acacia wood. Asia wood, which is chashivi, which is expensive, which is important. Maybe since the wood underneath is a very chash of wood, that even if you played it with something else, it doesn't take on that gold with them and that material. So right? Because over there, according to uh Reish Lakish, he said it doesn't matter, right? Uh, only with the clear we are talking about, right? With um it was covered with uh the, this is uh, the um what's it called? This is expensive wood. Oh, one second. Avabakli, uh, that, that was cheap wood. Only we're talking about cheap wood, right? Avabakli, masimam, leibatli, shapir, right? According to this opinion, he says, but it's not expensive wood is not bottle. So our wood, atzei shiti, would be the same as a kli masimam, right? Which is expensive wood. Expensive wood is not bottle. So therefore, it's, like, it's wood. And since it's wool, we have to come out to say that it becomes tummy because it's movable. According to Rabbi Yechon, Dama Rafi Lebekli, Masai Mina, Nami Batli, but according to the any type of wood is bottle. So therefore, by the Shulchan, you know the Atzei Shittim is bottle to the gold, and therefore it's a it's a, considered to be a metallic vessel, which is tame. You don't need to say it's moved around. Michael, the neighbor, what do you say then? So Chit Hema Kamatzipui Oime Kamatzipui Shinovid. Maybe you can say one is maybe over there is talking about uh, you know something which is not meant to be forever. It's not meant to be forever. Right, if it's not on, if it's not, uh, uh, let's say, you know, uh, attached to it, if it's not attached to it, then it would not be take on the plated material. Like in the shulchan, it's not attached to it, right? It's not melted on or anything like that. It's just gold around it. So, but that's what we asked. Right, that which we talk about, that it takes on the material that, that of that which is plated in, right? Doesn't mean that it has to be if it's surrounded or it has to be attached, right? Is that Let me look at the kudos. Let me see. I know. Actually, I practiced it like four times, still didn't help, right? Look at that, right? Leviz Bizov. That's the Nakuda say there. Leviz Bizov, right? So it does with its with the edges, with the rims. So now does it have to uh, surround the rims or not? Does it have to be attached or not in order to take on the outer material? And the and the answer is over there. Right? It doesn't make a difference if it's so therefore in this case, since the gold is not attached, it doesn't make a difference anyway. So since it's not attached, but it should take on the gold material. So it takes on the gold material. So so what do you say? Ella Shani Shulchan, rather Shulchan is a little different, even though it's completely plated in gold and it should be a gold vessel. Why do we say the reasons why it's not with Tommy? It's because it's movable, because they pick it up and they show the people, check out the, the fresh bread. Turn the page. The Rachmana Karya eight, because the, 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 the Torah still calls it an eight, even after it's gold plated, it still recognizes it as a wooden vessel. The Chesed Apostle says, Hamis Beach eight. Shlai Shabbos, Gaboa, the Arkosh, Shlai Mamos, because I saw love, Archo, Kiraisa, eight. By the way, Zashoka Shlif Nasha. So the Pasuk over there, and uh, I think it's a Cheskel, no, uh, yeah, Cheskel, it says over there, it calls it the wooden Mizbecha eight. It calls it wooden, even though it's already plated. Since it calls it wooden, it identifies as wooden, and it says at the end, this is the Shulchan. We see that the Shulchan is uh, something which is considered to be wood, even after it was plated. So, therefore, since it's wooden, that's why we have to come on to say that, hey, when you move it, uh, that's the reason why it's uh, potentially being metallic. The now, what was that? The tablecloth, which is yeah, yeah, that for sure. Right? It's not right. This is something like attached to plate to it, right? 
So, Pesach, when he's back, the same Bishok. And wait, just time out. This Pesach over here talks down the beginning. It says, when he's back, eight. Right, this is the talk about the, the mizbech, right, the, the, the altar, right, and then it calls it. This is the shulchan. So why is it there? So Rabbi Yechon is talking about Tavayu. This man should be semitish kaya when the base semitish was around the mizbech mechaper al adam. The mizbech, a person, he, he how does he get atonement? He brings karbanos. But now a person's table, right? Inviting guests, his, his, his charity work that's done on his shulchan provides his atonement. So therefore it's a, a very special uh, nekudah that's brought out between the shulchan and the mizbech that our shulchan now is like the mizbech of the base of mitosh. Fine, two dots. So all the mikhail and the mitosh had a, a second set and a third set. Um, but we said the only thing that's not a tame. I'm just waiting for the Mishnah. Chutz means bech, azov means bech, and the chush. Just me bech, shen, kakarka, the rabbi has a very bech, shen, mitzuba. Right? So uh, the first one is because they're karka. So the Gemara says, ah, means bech, and the chush. They see the passage has means bech, adoma, taseli. It says the means bech, and the chush, the one on the outside, the bigger one says, means bech, adoma, taseli. So it calls it the means bech, adoma, right? The ground of means bech. So you see it's part of the ground. And what about the other one? And uh, Tassel, the Mizbech Azov, the Chesil says, Hamanairav, Hamizbechos. It calls the Menorah and the Mizbechos. And it says both Mizbech, same status. So each gives Mizbech Zelazad. Therefore, we make a, a comparison one to the other, just like the Mizbech and the Choshes was on the, was on the outside, is considered to be ground. So to the Mizbech on the inside was also considered to be ground. And therefore, it's not a All right, two dots, Chavzain. The that's the one of the, 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 the animal one the, on the outside. Yeah, but it was made of stone in the base of the Right. So, so why do they call it a, a dama? Because it, 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 it is attached. It was attached to the ground. Let's see the Rashi. Uh, no, there's a Rashi there, right? Oh no. Hakos of Kara Adam is Bech Shemal in love. Haolos Vashlam and behind him is Bech on the Choshes. Where's the base? Yeah, Pasuk and Shmos. Ms. Bech Adam Atas Halev is the Vachta Olav. Fine. Anyway, so he said, "Chamim Ami Mipnei Hashem Mitzupin," because they are plated. So the Gemara says, "Because they're plated, they're not Mitzupin." So the Gemara says, "Adar Abba." Opposite, right? We just learned this. Cave and the Mitzupin in whom Mitamu. Since they are gold plated, they should be become Tamim. So Ema rather say the Chamim Mitamin Mipnei Hashem Mitzupin. Maybe the Chamim say, "No, they are Tamim because they're plated." If you buy the same, or I give you another tear, it's uh, Rabban and Rabbi Yezer coming. So, not really the Rabban are saying to Rabbi Yezer coming, my daisha, what are you thinking that they're not a time that they're Mishumti, the meat soup, because they are plated? That's the reason why they should be taught me. So, if I tell you, right, their plating is really nothing compared to the wood. And I was they're based around the wood, and we know that the underneath is Marchashev, just like we saw earlier by the Shulchan. So therefore, that's a reason to say that it's not considered uh, 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 that you know, we don't care about the plating. And Amar Rebbe, Amar Rebbe Yezer, Tamid Chacham, Ein Or Shal Gehenim Shalat Esben. Or Tamid Chacham. Right, Tamid Chacham, mm-hmm. the, the, the fires of Gehenim do not affect, do not touch them. So Kav Chaymer, Mila Samandra. Right, Kav Chacham is Salamandra. Right, Salamandra was a, uh, was a, some sort of Chaya that was created from the fire. Right, mm-hmm. it was basically fire. Uma salamandra shetelas eshi, the salamandra which is, comes from fire. So asach midama in our shlavim. So if one goes ahead and he he takes his blood, right, and, and he, he, he you know he smears his the, the blood of the sal of the salamandra, right, which is fire on his body. In our shlavim. So tamid chacham, tamid chacham shekol guf on esh, right, that his entire. Body is ash. The chesed pasuk says, "Hello, called Ibria Ka'ish Num Hashem." Right, that the words of Hashem are like fire. So, if you just take the 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 blood of the salamandra, right, and you use that, you smear upon yourself that you're safe from the fires of the kainim. Certainly, the Talmud of who are all cons- who are full of fire, because that is the the, the, the Torah's uh, you know, "Hello, called Ibria Ka'ish Num Hashem." Alchaz Kama Kama. Certainly, one would not uh, be affected by the fires of kainim if they were basically made of fire. Uh, we'll stop here. Uh, Shkayach, everybody. Mazel tov.